Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds, and today I'm here, I want to share with you a really nice Astro Blue Frame Up Restored 1970 Chevelle. I come up here just outside of Guilford, Connecticut to check out this car. This car will be for sale, so those of you interested in this car, after you see this walk around video, you may contact me for more information. I will have photos and of course this video to enlighten you on this car and and anybody that's interested can contact me and we will go from there but we'll go all the way around the car i'll tell you as much as i know about this car the car will be allowed into the registry with an asterisk there are some characteristics about this car um, the single gas line the, the tack dash and, and so on and so forth there's a few things that look to be unaltered on this car so we will allow this car in the national registry with an asterisk but the original engine transmission and even the rear axle is missing to this car but it is frame up restored and a really nice car in a lot of ways um, it drives out really really nice shifts well it's got an m21 331 positive traction the original color to the interior was black one of the previous owners really was interested and really loved the white bent seat interior so that has been changed as well but um, for the most part there's not this car doesn't seem to have had any rust there is well there has been a little bit of uh, work in the tr in the trunk area um, but the quarter panels um, have the uh, the stampings on those and this seems to be an original body panel car um, the front fenders the uh, seem to probably have been changed um, but the uh, original cal induction hood this is original zl2 and u14 car as well the evidence is here to justify those rpo codes so here we go let's go around the car and and check it out for you guys and maybe somebody would like to purchase this car because it really really runs out and drives well you see the the code 25 astro blue this car was born 25 25 just like you see astro blue the bumper fitment is just beautiful very straight and the body like i said down the side of the super sport wheels the firestone wide ovals those are g70 not the original s but they really look good um, in my opinion i think a 70 chevelle technically probably should have had and been born with g70s instead of f's but that's neither here nor there at this point so check out the, the driver's side of the car the original glass on in the driver's door and driver's quarter panel is original the front and rear glass has been changed but they really show up well and you can check out the top it's really nice the body lines on the car the doors open and shut really nice if you'll listen to that i mean really nice nice and tight you can see it has a 6500 red line tachometer that is original gm dash and you can see the old school tape player which a lot of these cars had over the years i can't tell you how many cars that i've seen that's been sitting you know since the 70s and 80s that's generally what i search out and what i find is cars have been sitting two and three decades or longer and you will always see generally those old school tape players looks to be a 90s or you know uh, early restoration as far as the PUI door panels I know the door panels that they offer now believe that do have the emblem the medallion in the center above the armrest and you can see that it is wide interior now and the headliner should be black as well but it was changed car starts and runs really well i will try to start this car be before we end the video another neat characteristic about this car show you in the trunk area stripes look to be good the paint overall the paint on this car is really really nice I believe the rear stripes are the uh, the mentions on the rear stripes are just a little bit off, but that's very common when it comes to these cars. Nice spatter, but 
not exactly spot on for an Atlanta car. And I will show you the work. You can see that area right there. That's a trunk placement where there have been some repairs done to the trunk painting. But it doesn't affect the car as far as riding, you know, and driving the mechanical side of it. So um, all in all, still a really good car. Um, again, you know, these cars are 50 years old now, so it does have Flowmaster exhaust, which appears to be new. The original quarters are here, like I said. Focus on that. Looks like the rear deck lid emblem is a little too high. The mounting studs should come into this area, and they, this is just pushed on. So little stuff like that. Normal stuff for a 50, 51 year old car. Let's check out the passenger side now. How these doors open and shut, there's really nice. But those of you interested in this car, you, can, you will have to make the trip here to Connecticut and ride and drive and see this car in person. It does have a Hearst shifter. This car was born bench seat four speed. Going by the characteristics, physical characteristics of the car now. It does also have a manual transmission steering column in the car. And there's the replace, replacement windshield that I was referring to earlier. I'll back off a little bit, let you guys see this car in its entirety whole passenger side let's see if we can lift the hood it has a 512 ce block and it's 840 heads square port pretty clean engine bay like i said the engine sounds well you know person wanted to take this car and start um, fixing some of the, the things that are incorrect or aftermarket, you definitely could do that, like remove that 4-speed um, 4SP off the firewall in the 25. Um, that's kind of an eyesore. Um, probably fix the alternator bracket, put a correct 70 model on there. Maybe the brake booster, get rid of the cow grills. But you can see the original cow induction hood and the proper placement for the cal induction solenoid up by the wiring gutter which is correct for an atlanta georgia built cal zl2 cal induction hood option 70 chevelle let's check out the cal tag like we normally do and here we go 70 for 1970 two door hard top a for atlanta georgia Assembly plant designation, and then this is the body number 32029755, just like I was referring to earlier for black bench seat interior. Now it has white or pearl bench seat interior, B80, B90. We've been over before. It's the window trim. It's on Atlanta. Cow tags. And then the 2525 that I referred to earlier, Astro Blue, lower and upper. And 03A for the first week of March. And if you notice, this car does have a single gas line on it that it has not, it does not appear to have been altered at all, front to back. And for the Atlanta, Georgia assembly plant, the 768 fuel pump for the special high performance LS6 cars didn't show up till about the third week of March. So that's showing up correct for this car to be an LS6 single gas line March car. And also the GK instrument cluster with the 6500 RPM tachometer is also present. And I have photos of that as well. And you can see the numerals and the dash are green for 70. So something to think about. So this car will be allowed into the National Registry with an asterisk. Uh, again, this car was sold a few years back at Barrett Jackson as an LS6 with not original numbers matching engine and an M21 transmission. It was documented that this car was not carrying the original drivetrain. 
when it was sold through the Barrett Jackson auction. But it's still a very nice, pretty car. If you're looking for a car that's a good car that you want to get in and have a good time, sounds good, looks good, gives you the enjoyment. I mean, there's really nothing like riding around in a 70 Chevelle Supersport. I mean, it is the ultimate. I mean, you know when you've seen one of these cars, there's nothing gives you the realization of seeing an Apex Predator like when you see a big block Chevelle, especially a 70 LS6 cruising the streets. Well, this is the type of car that will be on the street. It's that type of car. You know, this is not a low miles car, survivor car that will go from, you know, one collection to the next collection and never see the road. This uh, more than likely, very high probability this car was born as an LS6, but the drive line and the documentation has got away from the car. So this is the perfect car for somebody to take and enjoy. 100%. Now, I will now try to sit in this car just for a moment and start this car for you. If we can accomplish this. Okay, here we go. You can hear the key warning buzzer. This definitely works with the 890 horn relay. So that's another good indication that this steering column and so forth has not been altered. And it cranks up really. Oh, okay, now, we do have a situation where the hood does not want to stay up on this car. Good thing that there's nothing in the way when that hood shut. So, that's what we run into when we start cars. Not every car is gonna have all of the little issues worked out. need some hood hinge or spring attention as you can see it just simply shut so that's something you'll have to look into for this car whoever decides to make a deal on this car sound of the key warning buzzer one of the great things about my videos are they are true to life some people probably would edit out the hood closing like that but it is what it is and that's something that the owner will have to put some attention into the hood hood hinges or the hood springs and be careful with that All in all, this is a really nice SS454 car. Again, it does not have any documentation with the car no longer. And the original drivetrain is gone as well. 
but it does show up to be an SS 454 car and more than likely an LS6. If anybody is interested in making a purchase on this car, you may contact me at pnichols26 at yahoo or Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook or YouTube. If you need assistance authenticating your 1970 Chevelle, you may contact me at those addresses that I just stated. Again, pnichols26 at yahoo and Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds. I really appreciate all the interest on my page. I hope you enjoyed the video of this for sale SS 454 4 speed 331 Astro Blue 1970 Chevelle that will be entered into the National Registry with an asterisk. <clears throat> Excuse me, asterisk. It's a really nice car, drives well, shifts well, looks well, and definitely will be worth the price. I will list the price on my page when it goes up for sale. Thank you very much. More videos on the way.